Hi, I'm Tim Roble and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Today we're on physical build day 37 and let me show you what we got going on. So yesterday you saw that I put the panels down and I did have to shoot a couple screws up in these uh, two corners just to keep that uh, tape sticking well. One of the things that I learned yesterday is that this uh, white aluminum uh, painted stays a lot cooler than the raw. Really doesn't matter because I got the solar panels uh, put up and in place. We'll go up here and I'll kind of show you how I did that. So I put uh, the 3M uh, ultra high bond uh, tape all the way around the perimeters and then in between the panels. These two are physically screwed together because they're the same size and this one's just slightly different. Um, I got that going and I used the um, the 3M also, it's a 5200 series sealant for Marine. It's uh, considered a permanent sealant. It takes a full seven days to set up. And I got the front and around the other side and then back here all sealed. And I basically ran out when it was time to do this side and a couple of the seams. But I got that in and one of the things that I did is I put insulation in here. Um, I think it's three quarter, uh, three quarter inch, and it's so there's airspace. So there's panel airspace, and then the um, the styrofoam with Reflectix, and that's already keeping the uh, sealant in here a lot cooler today. Um, with touching the two panels, there was probably I'm gonna say 50 to 65 degree difference in the uh, the white aluminum and the raw aluminum but uh, you know the whole roof up here back to this area is panels and if you remember I have uh, 400 watts of panels I have three already in place but there was no place to put the uh, the fourth panel uh, the fan uh, actually uh, presented a little bit of a problem for being in the way and um, one able to pull it off so uh, my thoughts are I could either do um, a flexible uh, morph panel or um, just stay with 300 watts. So we'll see if 300 is enough uh, for what I'm doing. Uh, today's big project is going to be um, coming over on this side and, and installing uh, the fold-up mechanism and everything and the tubing for the futon. Uh, you remember right here where this acetone uh, can is sitting? That's where uh, the porta potty is going to be uh, housed under. And then I'll start working on getting some of the uh, sheet metal in. I'll probably go to the front and then do the, uh, the front uh, kickers first. Kind of want to leave some things exposed uh, just because it's easier to trace the styrofoam um, with no panel on it, of course. Uh, let's see, I have this painted up. It's kind of ready to go together. On the floor. Um, before I put the um, the life proof flooring down, I'll build out and go inside the cab so I'll have extra storage there. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Herculiner uh, bed liner on this. So that'll seal that and um, keep that, if water did seep in anywhere, as we know, if you use marine grade plywood, which I think if I did this again, I would probably use marine grade plywood, but this will all be encapsulated in bed liner, which I've uh, I've found out from the past that that's actually not a bad way to do things. Um, I built some boxes that were out in the elements for about a year and a half, and absolutely no water damage happened, uh, you know, from being out at the ocean, uh, getting rained on, and stuff like that. So that's uh, something that um, I may do different. But this is going to work out uh, just fine. Uh, still working on. I got to put one more tube over here in the corner to uh, support the countertop. I'm um, really wanting to get a countertop in, but uh, pushing myself to wait um, so things don't get messed up. So, futon, uh, building out inside, and then um, getting the floor down. Then I can start installing cabinets and going from there. So uh, yeah, this has been a lot of uh, a lot of work, but uh, yesterday was one of those pivotal points that just gives you more um, more energy because you can actually start to see like okay, this is what the living quarters is gonna look like. Um, you know, the fans are in. It goes from something that came out of your mind to basically reality. Uh, up top, I got all of this all sealed in. Uh, once again, the 3M 5200 series, seven days to set up. 
I'm um, getting ready to install these rails and then I'll probably work on uh, sheet metaling this area and these um, these triangles next. I think that's probably the next best evolution. And uh, still trying to figure out if I'm going to need to weld in a crossbar there um, for weight and all that. I'm trying to leave it out, but uh, supporting the um, the aluminum, uh, probably going to have to weld something in, but uh, we'll see. Some of the things that I do is just plain and simple theory. Um, you know, you kind of go with it and see if you need it and then add it. Um, trying to keep this uh, package as light as possible, um, but without uh, leaving out any amenities or, uh, you know, structural or design um, for the uh, for the camper, you know, to, to allow it to be the best it can be. Um, I don't want to leave, leave one tube out and then, you know, something ends up being flimsy uh, later down the road. So, um We'll see how that works. Um, I did set this all up that I wanted the electric. Uh, this whole uh, unit is DC and I wanted everything to run down the passenger side, down where the battery's at. Um, so that's kind of what we got going on here. Um, you know, when I have all the uh, the wood set up and all the styrofoam and everything in with the Reflectix, um, the plan is um, I'll have LED strips that run down each each side and then one across the front right here and then anywhere else that I need lighting I'm gonna go ahead and just do those little LED uh, they take like three AAA batteries and you can just kind of stick them or screw them in place push the button and it comes on so I know I want to put one of those over where I cook um, and then I might do some accident lighting and stuff uh, in some other areas but uh, we're set up for the TV waiting on the satellite dish and the TV to come in um, I want to get the dish on the roof. Um, you know, yesterday at this time, uh, this roof was uh, too hot to touch. Um, that's when I discovered the difference between raw and, uh, and painted. And um, now that we're covered and uh, insulated with solar panels, it'll kind of work as a double insulation. And I think as far as the roof goes, um, that's going to work out really well. That's going to be it for today. I uh, Once again, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I appreciate the, the comments and the thumbs up. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.